Hey, you're on the Fact Pack channel, and today you're gonna know why do baboons still lie in cops. So once you're ready, let's get started. Baboon sightings in the Kruger National Park in South Africa are always entertaining. But visitors watching one particular baboon troop experienced far more than expected when they realized that one of the baboons was clutching a tiny lion cub, no older than 4 weeks old. The male baboon carried the small cub around, climbing into a nearby tree and grooming and caressing the little cub as he might have done with a young member of his troop. According to witnesses, the baboons were initially extremely excited about the presence of the cub. They fought over it for an extended period before the young male emerged victorious to play with his prize. It is a known fact that baboons are a potential threat to the offspring of most predators, lions and leopards included. Still, it is extremely unusual for these moments to be observed or photographed. The photographs were captured by Kurt Schultz of Kurt Safari, who escaped his company office in Hazy View for some time spent with his camera in the Kruger National Park, unaware of the extraordinary experience awaiting him. He describes how in an area of large granite hills and boulders known to be a preferred spot for lion and leopard den sites, he encountered a troop of baboons and tourists in another vehicle informed him that they believed that there was a lion cub amongst the baboons. He waited patiently until one of the baboons emerged with the cub, which he initially believed to be dead. As the male baboon carried it into the tree and moved from branch to branch, the cub stared and he realized that it was alive, albeit weak and exhausted. Although Kerr did not spot any visible injuries, he does not dismiss the possibility that the cub had internal injuries. What struck Kerr was how gentle the male baboon was with the cub and how he was grooming it. In his 20 years of guiding experience, he has been witness to baboons killing leopard and lion cubs but had never seen care and attention being given. Pragmatically, Kurt acknowledges that the lion cub did not have a chance of survival. By 8 am, it was 30 degrees by Celsius and the lion cub that young would dehydrate quickly even if the baboons did not harm it farther. I don't see a chance of this poor cub surviving. The troop of baboons was large and a lion would not be able to get the young back, Schultz said. Nature is cruel at most times and the survival of a young predator cub is not easy. The lion cub would pose a threat to the baboons when it gets older. I have witnessed baboons viciously killing leopard cubs and have heard of baboons killing lion cubs. Kurt added later, This will remain one of my most interesting sightings. Naturally, one cares for the lion cub and would not want it to grow up and live a wild and free life, but nature has its own ways and we cannot get involved. We need to keep Kruger simple and wild, true to the wishes of Stevenson Hamilton that nature should wander freely and people remain in their vehicles. Thank you so much for watching this video and if you had a good time, please let us know by hitting the like button below and subscribing our channel. See you in the next videos.